everybody. So I apologize, I don't have a fancier setup, but welcome to my basement. <laughs> We're gonna do a short workout um, that involves just a weight or something that you find weighted. Um, in the past, I've suggested filling a backpack with a sack of potatoes or a book, a heavy book. So if you don't have anything, you can pause this video, go find something like that and come back. And then if you have, um, a sensitive tailbone like I do, you can use, I'm going to fold up a little blanket or a thick mat um, when we go down to the floor. I will um, warn you that I do have a, a miniature assistant that will probably be wandering in in his footy pajamas, so, you know, just be aware. He may look about uh, with his cars. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to do timed intervals, so this way you can go kind of at your own pace rather than counting out the reps. Um, and we're going to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're going to do four rounds of two sets of exercises. And we're going to do that for um, the whole time. So just follow along with me. So we're going to do, um, the first one's going to be more of a, sort of a warm-up, but you may not look at the warm-up the same way I do. So you're going to jog for four. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see jog for four, and then you're going to mountain climb for four. So you're going to jog one and two and three and four and then you're going to come down here one and two and three and four and i don't know if you can see arch in the video but he is participating so ready we're going to start with that mountain climb <laughs> i hope you can see it but you might not be able to definitely helping out. Okay, you're going to stay down and you're going to start with push-ups. Now, if you're um, a beginner, go to your knees, and if you're not, you're going to do a little um, cross-touch or a gorilla push-up. So it's here, touch your shoulder, here, touch your shoulder. And I get asked the question a lot, is it better to go on your knees and do a deeper push-up or stay on your toes? I say go on your knees, and then every once in a while, Try one or two up on the toes, but definitely you want to get the depth if you can. Okay, we have 10 seconds to rest, so we're going to come back up, high knee jog, and mountain climb. You can start whenever you're ready. So there's your beep. You want to pull those knees to your chest, pull the belly in tight. <laughs> And you're gonna go down to your push-ups. Remember, on your knees, if you don't, if you, or to the wall, you can always do your push-up to the wall. There's your feet. You can rest for 10 seconds. You're going to come back up and you jog and mountain climb. Whenever you're ready or when, wait till the beep. Don't forget to breathe. You can always march in place if you need to. There's your beef, we're going to go down to the push-ups again. just ran for fun. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> and back to your push-ups. Okay. 
pan back up. And I think that's the end of the first set. My mouth is dry, so I'm gonna grab some water out of my Jana Heath Fitness logo water bottle. Not that I'm trying to be egotistical, but I really like this water bottle. No. No? Sorry. There's Apparently there's no resting. We're moving right along. You're gonna grab your weight, whatever you have that's weighted, and um, you need to be able to lift it over your head with one hand. Now my ceiling is pretty low, so I may have to crouch a little bit, and if you're in the same predicament, go ahead. So, I'm gonna grab my weight. Arjo's got his weight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat, and you're gonna lift your leg out to the side, okay? And you're just doing this on one side. So if you're squatting and your weight is in your right hand, your left leg will go out to the side. So you're gonna do this, so it's opposite, okay? Here we go. <laughs> It's like a mirror. Our chair is like my mirror. There you go, buddy. And you want to think about pinching the waist right here. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna put your weight down. We're gonna go down to the ground and do plank jacks, or you can stay up and do your jack standing. It's up to you. pace that works for you. You can also tap one toe out to the side at a time, or like I said, you can stand. And you can also tap the legs out to the side when you stand and do your jacks. Good. And you go to the other side, so the weight goes in the other hand, other leg's going to go out. You're going to squat down. Make sure when you squat, you sit back, your heels are down, and then you press up. So I'm sitting way back. If you have trouble with squats, I suggest putting a chair behind you and making like you're sitting down and you're going to sit down and get right back up. You want to straighten your arm as much as you can. I just am going to hit the light, so I'm not. Okay, plank jack again. Make sure your wrists and shoulders are aligned. Shoulders are getting tired, do the standing jack. And come on up. Back to the first arm. First leg. Oh, great. He's going to show you what's behind door number one. That's where I have to hide my BOSU ball because somebody likes to jump out like a monkey. down, back to your jacks, I don't blame you if you want to stand up and do your jacks because my shoulders are getting tired too. And your jacks. 